This is a very challenging time for the very concept of international law. What's happening with artificial intelligence, big data, fake news? We see Brexit, we see trade wars. We're seeing across the world displacement, migrants and refugees. It's big, hot, topical political issues. Human rights, modern slavery, peace and security, protection of education. There is no area that is not affected by international law. The British Institute of International Comparative Law is a very remarkable organisation. We provide advice on international law matters to government, international organisations, NGOs, law firms. We work in an immensely interdisciplinary way, not just legal academia, but also innovations at the very forefront of social science, politics and education. We can distill the best practices and offer those best practices to other countries, to international organizations. Bickle is really unique. We have a reputation for producing high quality research. We are truly independent. It is one of the best kept secrets in London. The challenge now is to make it global. International law is an essential framework for the maintenance of peace and security around the world. We work uh, not just with international organizations such as the UN for example, but we also work with sometimes with local communities. Some governments are considering uh, changing their laws as a result of the research we have conducted. What I'm interested in is law in the small spaces close to home. The rule of law for citizenship education is teaching young people, teachers and the public at large about the law. We also have a very broad package of training and events. We have done events in Paris, in Brussels, in Geneva. There are so many cutting edge events taking place. One just wants to attend everything. Currently there is not very much by way of an international framework regulating companies for their human rights impacts. As a legal institute, we can really provide the analysis and the framework that is necessary to drive that human rights agenda forward. These are multinational brands. They have millions of people in their supply chains. If we can help these companies to undertake human rights due diligence, we can have an, a really big global impact. The Bingham Centre is a part of the British Institute of International and Comparative Law, and its mission is to advance the rule of law uh, worldwide. The simple principle that nobody is above the law, and uh, however powerful you are, the law is above you. Brexit, of course, has very serious rule of law implications. So we've been very engaged in debates about the EU Withdrawal Bill. Those discussions were very useful and informed, undoubtedly, debates that were going on in Parliament. You have to have quality laws, but you also have to have access to enforce them. And, and it's not just having the right to go to court, but it's also that the courts are fair and impartial. Some of this work has culminated in the production of some principles to try to guide countries which are building their judicial institutions and trying to strengthen their judicial independence. We are thinking about how the research that we do can actually work in practice. Bickle has three forums. Bickle forums are working groups of law firms, practitioners, policy makers, government officials, uh, academics, work in a particular area of law. We're celebrating the 60th anniversary of uh, Bickley. In order uh, for Bickley to grow, we need to look at how technology is influencing the legal uh, environment. We are an independent institution. The steady income that we get from law firms, governments, uh, businesses, individuals that uh, sponsor our research is critical. Advancing the rule of law is very much a worldwide mission. We want to have an impact on the real world. We want our work to, to leave a trace. It's a very exciting task and exciting time to do it.